Good morning cruises. We're on the corner of Crawford Street and Montague Mansions. So let's go see my new flat. Let's start in the living room. A very good place to start. Um, so there is a lot of art on the floor because it's still looking for a home. Uh, and there's spaces for art on the wall. And there's stuff that won't all be together that's on knick-knack shelves. Those came with the place. Some art has made it on the wall, but not all of it. Computer room. Uh, I like the way the light comes in and hits all the glassware in the bar. So you may be wondering why the glass shelf sticks out instead of flat up against the window. That is because the window opens like a door and it opens in. So if I put something in front of the window, I couldn't open the window. And why is it important to open the window? English flats don't have air conditioning. So if you don't have air conditioning, you cannot cool down your apartment, your flat, by any way other than opening the window. So that's how you open the window. I'm on street level, as you can see. Uh, they call it ground level normally. Uh, first floor is above me. This is ground level, but that confuses me. So I call it street level, and most people seem to understand what I mean when I tell them that. Um, bookshelves, 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 bookshelves. Um, current pattern is great. Uh, if I never read another book, Unfortunately, as I have read other books, there's nowhere to put it. And so I'm going to have to reorg the bookshelves and send them to the overflow out in the hallway. Um, yeah, um, I think I need more bookshelf space. Um, but I've got room up on the top, at least until I put art behind there. Uh, so yeah, this is my living room. It is enormous. As you can tell, it's even bigger and echoier because there's no sofa in it yet. Uh, I am planning on getting a sofa, but in the meantime, you know, I have a chair to sit in. A chair over here. I'm listening to music. Yeah, it all works. Living room. Okay, my master bedroom and bathroom. Huge mirror to start. Um... Shoe storage I brought with me that is empty because shoe storage that came with the place. Built in you know, multiple places to put everything. It's crazy. Um, yeah, storage is kind of the underlying theme of this flat. Um, you'll notice this wall here. There's the shoes all along this wall, all the way up to the front windows, from floor to ceiling is storage. So in here you've got, you know, hanging clothes and more hanging clothes and shelves. All my hats. Well, not all my hats, because that's only the season that we're in right now, but up here we have even more hats. Because I got storage space. <laughs> so, all right. That's, that's the bedroom. View out front, street level. Uh, bathroom. I'm going to need to spend a lot of time in the bathroom, but. Um, it is little, it's a, it's a tiny little thing, but still, still in all, not bad. And mirrors everywhere, and storage everywhere. I mean, all of these open into more and more, oops, this side, storage. Um, the shower's cool, it has, you know, the shower coming down from the top, I like that. Okay, my bedroom and bathroom. Next. main hallway and kitchen so um walk in the front door and there's a old-timey radiator over here that they've kind of covered up gives me a little place to put stuff uh hall closet it's very big too deep so you can hang previous seasons and front and whatnot and extra storage up above it 
floor to ceiling storage space um, one of many bookshelves uh, and then these are the doors to the kitchen the fact that the doors to the kitchen close is great because uh, it gets pretty loud in there you've got the washer and the dryer and the dishwasher going so you can kind of just close the doors off and you don't have to hear it so kitchen all right, yes, there's some stuff on the table uh, and, and the counters and whatnot. I decided I was not going to get this uh, video ever made if I insisted on it being perfectly clean. So you get mostly clean. Um, I think the, the thing that you can say about the kitchen is it's all hidden away, right? You see this floor to ceiling, again, with storage. And... I mentioned a washer, dryer, and uh, dishwasher, uh, plus there's also a refrigerator in here, and yet all of it's hidden. Well, where is it all? All right, well, here's the dishwasher that I ran last night. And here, well, that, that's just under sink stuff. Here is combination washer dryer. Um, the washing part works fine, the drying part does not really work well and takes hours. So I got an additional dryer, which we will find later throughout the kitchen. Um, this is really the only place that has storage for stuff like this and, uh, you know, whatnot. Uh, this one and this one are like hot water heater and stuff like that. Um, right, so along this wall, more stuff. Uh, this is where the pantry is and more cooking stuff that I haven't found a place for yet. So that's where it's going to live. Uh, just way more storage up top. This is the refrigerator hidden in the same kind of thing as the pantry. Um, I know it looks a little small, but uh, trust me, I just go shopping all the time. Every couple of days I go. Uh, things don't stay as well here, I found. Like, vegetables fall apart after a couple of days, so I just go get vegetables every day. Uh, here's a fun one. This super secret deep cabinet that goes forever in here. Uh, there's a light switch to that, but I don't remember where it is. Um, I think it's actually deeper in there. Anyway, this is the extra dryer that I have. It is not an exhaust dryer, it is a dryer where you have to empty the water. But it works great and it's super helpful. Um, that's the step ladder that came with the flat because there's so much storage that is so high. And I appreciate that. And then this is just more storage of more stuff. Anyway, storage. It's the theme. Okay. Okay, last part of the tour. Second bedroom and second bathroom. Second bathroom's looking a little crazy. That's because it um, hasn't fully been put up yet. Um, that poster fell, glass shattered everywhere. Also, I have a shower curtain, but no shower, so I gotta get rid of that. Uh, there's gonna be more beach stuff on the walls. We're gonna do a little beach theme in here. It's good stuff. Also, still, more storage. Every one of these opens up. Uh, and there's storage behind it. And second bedroom. It's a view out the back. Um, pull out sofa. Musical instruments. And yeah, this this really beautiful uh, kind of back porchy garden area, which all belongs to the person below me. They have that entire area that's theirs, which is kind of nice. I mean, you live in the basement, but you have a, a, a patio, a big outdoor space that she fills with plants and everything. So that's kind of cool. So that's it. That's my flat. I hope you liked it. Come and visit me soon.